Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm gonna to react to 42 foods that you must, must eat in your lifetime. Now, I reacted to a video like this about nine months ago uh, from the same channel, and it was crazy. Like the food, like I, I've tried a, a lot of different types of food, but some of the things that I'd seen in that video blew my mind. You know, I'd never seen stuff like that before. And I'm someone who's constantly looking to try new stuff. So I'm hoping to see if I could find some, at least a few dishes on this list that, you know, pique my interest, whet my appetite a little bit. So yeah, this should be fun. Let's do it. What is that? It's kind of strawberry. We know you love seeing some of the most mouth-watering foods around the world. Oh, I bet that's delicious. Millions of you tuned in to see burgers dipped in pools of gooey cheese and barbecue Whoa. so tender it melts oh, off the bone. Oh, my lord. Turns out, the list goes on. Oh, look at the size of that mozzarella. Fresh strawberries and homemade strawberry filling have made this donut a favorite for locals and tourists. Pro oh. tip, eat it with a fork. Oh my god, look at the size of that thing. The Cronut, a donut croissant hybrid. Lines are long and quantities limited for the iconic New York City dessert. Mm. Mm. This massive mozzarella ball is called the Zizona. <laughs> Doesn't that look like something else? <laughs> it's called the Zizona, or a mother's breast in local dialect. Okay. And it weighs 66 pounds. Whoa, that's huge. Iberian chorizo comes from a special breed of pig called the Black Iberian Pig, which mm. roams in the Andalusia oh, region of Spain. Of that. Oh. Clay pot rice, or botsaifan, is a traditional Cantonese dish. Mm. It's known for fanjou, the delicious crispy layer of rice at the bottom of the clay pot. That looks really good. I love Pesto Oriental quattro food. formaggi, or tomato sauce, is stuffed into a pocket of Neapolitan pizza dough to make this over-the-top dish. Wow. This Egyptian street food staple Egyptian. looks like falafel, but it's actually made with fava beans, not chickpeas. Mm, interesting. Nasi goreng, which means fried rice in Indonesian, is the country's national dish, oh, made with yeah. ketchup and an egg cooked sunny side up. Kind of reminds me of ramen a little bit, with all the different things in the bowl. Tapioca crepes, or beiju, are a popular Brazilian snack with a consistency similar to jelly. Rice and meat wrapped in lotus leaf and cuttlefish ink shrimp dumplings are a few of the reasons for the standard 45 minute wait at Chef Tony. Wow, 45 minutes, long time. Lots of Kebab, fresh baked veggies, yeah. cheese, and specialty sauces round out Mustafa's chicken donor. Oh yeah, I love a kebab, especially after a night out. The Francesinha or Little French Sandwich is a variation of the croque monsieur. Just add mortadella, sausage, and tomato sauce. Interesting. This labor-intensive dish takes four days to make. Free-range duck is stuffed four with hoisin, days. soy sauce, and dry spices. Four days! That is a hell of a process. This farm is one of only two that makes this artisanal raw milk aged chalta. And by the way, you'll need a boat to get there. I do love cheese, man. Ray Charles saying about it. I love cheese, but I, unfortunately, I'm slightly lactose intolerant and uh, I've had to cut down on my cheese and milk intake. Kind of makes me sad, honestly. <laughs> Former President Barack Obama was photographed eating it. From the rich gumbo to the shrimp clemenceau, Dookie Chase is worth the hype. Mm. Ah, the classic British meal. Oh, At yeah. At Black it's called the oh. all-in, meaning you can have it all. Beef, pork, lamb, and unlimited oh my gravy, God. all on one plate. Heat gravy on that. Mwah. Some A trusted staple for the past 122 years, Sahadi sources most of its ingredients overseas. The garlic and tahini hummus is a must-try. It's made fresh daily in-house. This Neapolitan dessert is made of honey-covered puff pastry. During the holidays, it's mm. the bakery's most coveted dessert, and not just because it's shaped like a wreath. It looks kind of like popcorn, doesn't it? A little bit. This lavish meal can't be ignored. <sighs> At Friedman's, the brisket is carved tableside and oh, served yeah. with bone marrow and Jewish deli-inspired garnishes. Mm, that looks seriously good, to be honest. The soba noodles at Sobaya are cut into thin spaghetti-like strips by hand, and the buckwheat flour they're made with gives them their signature nutty flavor. At Action Burger, you can choose to eat off the superhero or villain menu. 
The savory oh, ingredients I'm not, combined no. with a dollop of Nutella on a Belgian waffle bun I makes can't. this burger both superhero and villain. Listen, I don't mind mixing a bit of sweet and a bit of sour, but I can't be having Nutella with a burger patty. Has it, have you guys tried that? I just can't imagine those flavors ever really working together. Pouring polenta straight onto a wooden board is an ancient Italian tradition called polenta alla spianatora. But it's not just polenta. Bone marrow, meatballs, and marinara round out this family meal. Interesting. Looks really unique. Ghanaian style jollof rice. Jollof rice, oh my god. It's made gosh. with smoked turkey and served with steak <sighs> stew and plantains. It's so good. I'm telling you guys, it's delish. Locals will tell you you haven't really been to Florence if you haven't eaten at Alantico Venayo. Its most popular sandwich, La Favolosa, has salami, pecorino, artichoke cream, and spicy eggplant. That's a big sandwich. <laughs> Looks great though, I love the colors of it. Eddie's is reminiscent of a 1950s diner. Ooh. Its sundae is piled high with three scoops of homemade Gosh, ice cream, whipped cream, cream, and a single cherry. I'd eat that, but my gas would be so bad. <laughs> po' boys are a staple of New Orleans cuisine. Eat them with fried shrimp or roast Ooh. beef, sandwiched between two slices of crispy, fluffy French bread. <sighs> Looks divine. I love seafood. Two Boston natives started cooking this Italian-American classic for a handful of friends out of their apartment. Mm. It's since evolved into a popular twice-monthly pop-up in West Hollywood. Gosh, I'm getting so hungry right now. If, I don't know if the mic is picking up the gurgles of my stomach, but <laughs> it's been gurgling for the past minute or so. Fiore's has been in the business of classic Italian deli food since 1913. The roast beef in Mutt's Hero comes with its own hefty container of gravy. The vegan ice cream that went viral has only vegan three ingredients. Ice cream. Avocado, grape sugar, and lemon juice. Vegan ice cream? I didn't know that existed. In Chelsea Market, an Israeli restaurant is jazzing up a relatively ordinary vegetable, the cauliflower, with just a drizzle of olive oil and sea salt. But doesn't it, isn't that just cauliflower? Like, or does does the does the process of cooking it bring out certain flavors? Joe's iconic soup dumplings are filled with minced pork or crab, and of course, soup. But the official recipe is a secret, and for good reason. Besides groceries, McGonagall's conveniently sells juicy, melt-in-your-mouth barbecue oh, platters from a food that. truck in the parking lot. Looks great. If 7,600 calories sounds like too much of a challenge, 7, opt for 000. the three-bite version. 7,000 calories. <laughs> Sundae, or Korean blood sausage, is made with a waste-nothing mentality. Seasoned pig snouts, pork belly, and pig's blood are all used to make this classic Korean street food. Wow, interesting. Guess you're not wasting eating any of the Eating sea snails is a big part of Vietnamese now culture, which encourages communal eating. These freshwater snails are boiled with lemongrass, chili peppers, and lime leaves to add flavor. Mm. The dosas at Temple Canteen are made from rice flour and lentils and are filled with vegetarian ingredients like potatoes and onions. The shop's name comes from its location in the basement of a temple. Interesting, looks like a giant samosa. This mango dessert is meant to be eaten with the skin still on. It's the tangy mix of a tamarind and Mexican chamoy sauce made from chili, lime, and pickled fruits. <sighs> I'm so, I can't, this, this video is really blowing my mind. A lot of stuff that I've, I've literally never, ever, ever seen. Gas station snacks are elevated at Garibaldi, a restaurant located at a Conoco gas station. Cactus plays an important role in these Cactus. southern Mexican dishes, like the meat and avocado heavy huarache azteca. Fried peanuts, crunchy anchovies, chili sauce, and white rice make for a flavor-packed national dish. Mm. It comes in a signature rooster bowl imported directly from Malaysia. Very colorful. The rooster Tokyo bowl. location of this restaurant was the first ramen restaurant in the world to win a Michelin star. Wow. The winning dish features perfectly timed eggs, soy sauce aged for two years, and truffle oil. Soy sauce aged for two years. Bakers at Chip have created about 35 cookie flavors, like peanut butter and jelly and Nutella sea salt. Is your mouth watering yet? It is. It really is. Look at that one. Oh. This tender lamb dish is seasoned with spices imported from Pakistan. It's served with rice or yummy mm. bread called malawah. Mm. 
Oh gosh, hunger. Oh, so many of those look divine. Just divine. The lamb dish, the final one, the, the oriental ones, the uh, the Israeli one with the um, with the brisket. Just to be honest, all of them. If you put any of them in front of me right now, I would I would thank you over and over again because I am super hungry right now. I am starving. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.